hi guys welcome to my channel in this video tutorial we will discuss about the patch management of in point central tool so first we need to go to the patch management I have already logged in in my in point central console and click on the patch management where you can see the patch dashboard you can see here the patch dashboard where you can check the current status of the endpoint machines uh, patch deployment here you can check the deployment fail systems reboot required systems missing patch awaiting approval systems and also you can check the install patches missing patches and system health graph and also you can see here on the right side let latest security news patch tuesday update zero day microsoft update vulnerabilities so this is the dashboard of the patch management so click on the patches where you can check the different type of uh, endpoint machines uh, patches status like missing patches you can check here install patches you can check click on check here applicable patches you can click and check here top priority patches means critical patches you can click on the and check the critical patches of your environment supported patches also you can check here latest patch release patches you can check on the this tab also you can check here the detail view and downloaded patches uh, you can see here and if you have uh, declined any patches you can see the status of the decline patches in click on the decline patches so these are the patches um, main tabs where you can check the uh, uh, patch status of the particular specific uh, machine are installed or any okay so uh, next we can click on the system and uh, deploy a particular patch in a particular system or check on the install patches on the particular systems okay and click on the deployment where we can check the uh, test uh, how we can uh, test and uh, approve the patches to deploy bulk deployment to the individual machines here you deploy manual deployment and uh, then you can uh, check here test and approve you can create here the test group where you can test the patches uh, first you need to create a custom group where you can add some of the machines for test the those patches any newly released patches automatically goes on the test groups uh, added machines and uh, you can check the machine status if there is no adverse impact means there is no issue of the particular patch you can check the uh, you can approve the particular patch and deploy to the endpoint machines so you can also create here the automatic patch deployment automatic patch deployments means you can create the which type of patches required you can create here the automatic task means automatically such kind of patches automatically downloaded and you can define a target you can also define a dynamic uh, custom group create a dynamic custom group and create uh, define in this uh, automatic task update and severities you can select here the critical which type of patches you want to download and uh, update and security which type of you can select here critical important and moderate which you want and then go scroll down here you can define the deployment and click on the next where you can choose the deployment setting and also you can define the target first we need to go to the admin and where you can find the custom group create on the dynamic custom group and add the if any computer add in the uh, in your environment ad environment it will automatically uh, mm, associated with the uh, associated with the dynamic uh, custom group and uh, if you define the dynamic custom group here automatically all the uh, do all your domain systems are um, associated with the this group automatically okay so if you create such kind of um, automatic task it will uh, automatically uh, if you approve the patches particular patches it will automatically deploy to all the dynamic uh, custom governments all the your uh, all your domain machine it will automatically deploy all your domain machines so friends uh, how we can check the test and approve here uh, you can create a test group uh, I have already created you can click on the add group and create the particular test group I have already created so 